All rise, face the east, heels together, forming a 90 degree angle, five fingers on your left hand and two fingers on your right, as we repeat the Moorish American prayer after Sister M. Serrano Bay. Me, Allah, the Father of the universe. Allah, the Father of the universe. The Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day through his holy prophet, through Ali. Amen. Arising in praise to Allah, I give honors to our prophet, Prophet Noble Drew Ali, the last prophet in these days and time. I give honors to the former of the prophet, Brother Marcus Messiah Garvey. I give honors to all the past Supreme Grand Advisors and moderators of the Moorish Science Temple of America, Brother C. Kirkman Bay, Brother F. Nelson Bay, and Brother J. Blakely Bay. I give honors to the past Grand Chief, Brother R. Love Eel, and to our present Grand Chief and moderator, Brother R. Jones Bay, and his assistant, Brother A. Hopkins Bay. I give honors to all national, state, and local officials. I give honors to our Grand Governor here in the state of New Brother D. Clark Eel, and to his assistant, Brother A. Gaines Eel. Honors to our Grand Chief here at Temple Number 34, Brother W. Clinton and Bay. I give honors to our chairman here, at Temple Number 34, Brother C. Ferguson Hill, and to his assistant, Brother L. Serrano Bay. I give honors to our secretary, Sister J. Jordan Hill, and to our assistant secretary, Brother I. Smith Hill. I give honors to our treasurer, Brother R. Jordan Hill, and to his assistant, Brother K. Turner Bay. I give honors to all of the members I give honors to all of the sympathizers. I give honors to all of the visitors. I give honors to everything pertaining to Islam. I'll now turn your attention to the divine constitution and bylaws. Salvation, star and crescent, our God, all seeing eye, unity, hand pressed. The Moorish Science Temple of America, the divine constitution and bylaws. Act one, the Grand Sheik and the chairman of the Moorish Science Temple of America is empowered to make law and enforce laws with the assistance of the prophet in the grand body of the Moorish Science Temple of America. The assistant grand sheik is to assist the grand sheik in all affairs if he lives according to law, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and it is known before the members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Fact two, all meetings are to be open and closed promptly according to the circle seven and love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Friday is our holy day of rest, because on a Friday, the first man was formed in flesh, and on a Friday, the first man departed out of flesh and ascended unto his father God Allah. For that cause, Friday is the holy day for all Muslims all over the world. Act three, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all members of the Morris Science Temple of America. No member is to put in danger or accuse falsely his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister, because Allah is love. Act four, all members must preserve these holy and divine laws and all members must obey the laws of the government because by being a Moorish American, you are a part and partial of the government and must live the life accordingly. Act five, this organization of the Moorish Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. Act six, with us, all members must proclaim their nationality and we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are a part and a partial of the said government. But know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians. 
because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is the new era of time now. And all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained noble Juwali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7. All members must promptly attend their meetings and become a part and a partial of all uplifting acts of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Juwali, through the guidance of his father, God Allah. Noble Juwali, founder, Moorish American prayer. Allah, the father of the universe, the father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day through his holy prophet, Juwali. Amen. More signs temple of America. I'll now turn your attention to the great meeting is on. Starring Crescent Islam, Hand Press Asia. Quran questions from Moorish Americans found on page number seven are the additional, excuse me, questionnaire and additional laws for the Moorish Americans by the Prophet Noble Juwali. Act one, grand sheiks and governors and heads of all temples, all businesses. Each said temple must be approved by the Prophet <laughs> Noble Juwali. Acted upon by any members, let it be finance, property, or any line of life that will cause the members to sacrifice finance, etc. That will cause the support of any group of members. Any formal officer that violates these laws is subject to be removed from his office under heavy restriction, etc. by the Prophet or the Grand Chief. Act 2. All members are to attend their adept meetings and their public meetings promptly. If a member is found standing around on their meeting period, shall be fined 50 cents on the first case. And on the second, he'll be fined $1, which will go in your emergency fund. If a member is working, his monthly dues must be paid. And if he has money in the bank, he must subscribe for as much as he is able to the Moorish Uplifting Fund because it takes finance to uplift a nation. Act. Three, it is lawful and divine duty of every good member, if he is able in finance, to aid me in saving the nation. And if he does not, he is an enemy to the cause of uplifting his own people, and justice must catch you. Let it be he or she, according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, as I have the power invested in my hands, and I will have to enforce the law in order to save the nation. Act four, all members while making a public speech must not use any assertion against the American flag or speak radical against the church or any member of any organized group because we are to teach love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Act five, all members must promptly attend their meetings and send their children to Sunday school and the teacher must confirm himself to the questionnaire but let every member exercise his five senses who is able to do so, because out from your Sunday school comes the guidance of the nation. Act six. With us, all members must proclaim their nationality, and we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed, that they may know that they are a part and partial of this said government, and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now, and all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live 
and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained noble Drew Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores. Act seven, all members must promptly attend their meeting and become a part and a partial of all uplifting acts of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. Mm -hmm. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Juali, through the guidance of his father, God, Allah. Thus, I've read the questionnaire and additional laws. From our prophet, Noble Juali, I will now turn your attention to the Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America. Divinely prepared by the noble prophet Juali, by the guiding of his father, God Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father, God Allah. Know thyself in Allah, the genealogy of Jesus, life and works of Jesus in India, Europe, and Africa, in the land of Egypt. Noble Drew Ali, the prophet and founder of the Morris Science Temple of America, to redeem the people from their sinful ways. I'm going to turn, I'm going to start with um, page three, Know Thyself and Thy Father God Allah. The genealogy of Jesus with 18 years of the events life works and teaching in India, Europe, and Africa. These events occurred before he was 30 years of age. These secret lessons are for all those who love Jesus and desire to know about his life works and teaching. Dear readers, do not falsely use these lessons. They are for good, peace, and happiness for all those that love Jesus. Dear mother, teach these lessons to your little ones that they may learn to love instead of hate. Dear fathers, by these lessons, you can set your house in order and your children will learn to love instead of to hate. The lessons of this pamphlet are not for sale, but for the sake of humanity, as I am a prophet and a servant is worthy of his hire. You can receive this pamphlet at expense. The reason these lessons have not been known is because the Muslims of India, Egypt, and Palestine had these secrets and kept them back from the outside world. And when the time appointed by Allah, they loosened the keys and freed these secrets. And for the first time in ages have these secrets been delivered in the hands of the Muslims of America. All authority and rights of publishing this pamphlet of 1927 by the prophet, Noble Juali. The industrious acts of the Muslim of Northwest and Southwest Africa. These are the Moabites, the Hamathites, Canaanites, who were driven out of the land of Canaan by Joshua and received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in that portion of Egypt. In later years, they formed themselves kingdoms. These kingdoms are called this day, Morocco, Algiers, Tunis, Tripoli, etc.
I'm going to take the time to read from page 12, the divine instructions from the Holy Prophet, chapter number seven. The friendship of Jesus and Lamas. Jesus explains to Lamas the meaning of truth. Among the priests of Jagrenad was one who loved the Jewish boy. Lamas Brahmas was the name by which the priest was known. One day, as Jesus and Lamas walked alone in Plaza Jagrenad, Lamas said, my Jewish master, what is truth? Well, Jesus said, truth is the only thing that changes not. In all the world, there are two things. The one is truth, the other is falsehood. And falsehood is that which seems to be. Now, truth is all and has no cause. And yet, it is the cause of everything. Falsehood is not. And yet, it is the manifest of right. Whatever has been made will be unmade. That which begins must end. All things that can be seen by human eyes are manifests of all, are not and so must pass away. The things we see are but reflexes just appearing while the ethers vibrate so and so. And when conditions change, they disappear. The holy breath is truth, is that which was and is and evermore shall be. It cannot change nor pass away. Lama said, you answer well. Now what is man? And Jesus said, man is the truth and falsehood strangely mixed. Man is the breath made flesh. So truth and falsehood are conjoined in it. And when they strive, excuse me, and then they strive, and naught goes down, and man as truth abides. Again, Lamas asked, what do you say of power? And Jesus said, it is a manifest, it is the result of force. It is but naught. It is an illusion and nothing more. Force changes not, but power changes as the ethers change. Force is the will of Allah and is omnipotent. And power is that will and manifest directed by the breath. There is a power in the wind, a power in the waves, a power in the lightning's stroke. A power in the human arm, a power in the eye. The ethers cause these powers to be. And thought of Elohim, of angel, man, or other thinking thing directs the force. When it has done its work, the power is no more. Again, Lamas asked of understanding, what have you to say? And Jesus said, it is the rock on which man builds himself. It is the gnosis of the all and of the not, of falsehood and of truth. It is the knowledge of the lower self, the sensing of the powers of man himself. Again, Lamas asked of wisdom, what have you to say? And Jesus said, it is the consciousness that man is all that Allah and man are one. That naught is naught. That power is but illusion. That heaven and earth and hell are not above, around, below, but in, which in the light of aught becomes naught. 
an all and a law is all. Lamas asked, pray, what is faith? And Jesus said, faith is the surety of the omnipotence of Allah and man. The certainty that man will reach the epic life. Salvation is a ladder reaching from the heart of men to the heart of Allah. It has three steps. Belief is first. And this is what man thinks perhaps is true. And faith is next. And this is what man knows is true. Fruition is the last. And this is man himself, the truth. Belief is lost in faith. And in fruition, faith is lost. And man is saved when he has reached the ethic life. When he and Allah are one. Islam. 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 Happy holy day. Happy holy day. Well, it's not just our holy day, right? It's a holy day for all Muslims all over the world. Praise Allah. Without further ado, I would like to call on our first speaker of the evening. I'm going to call on Brother K. Turner Bay after song. I-S-L-A-M. Islam, Muslims, Islam. Just saying the word mean peace to me. Islam, Muslims, Islam. Independence. And for our salvation. Tell me love for everyone, all over the nation. Say it's for Allah, the Father of the universe. And for Moorish American and Muslims, which are us. I-S-L-A-M. Islam, Muslims, Islam. Just saying the word mean peace to me. Islam, Muslims, Islam. For humanity. No Buju Ali, to open our minds and hearts to see the reason for our unity. The more science temple of America is where we learn the truth. The brothers and sisters who all attend, be sure to bring the youth. I S L A M, Islam, Muslims, Islam, the same, the words mean peace to me. Islam, Muslims, Islam. Islam, 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 Islam. I rise, giving praises to Allah, great God in the universe. I give honors to the Prophet, Noble Drew Ali, who gave us everything it takes to save a nation, and said, take it and save yourself. I give honors to the forerunner of the Prophet, Brother Marcus Mosiah Garvey, who said, up, up, you mighty race, and accomplish what you will. I give honors to the assistant grand sheik, acting chairman, and everything she gave honors to. I give honors to the flag of my birth, the American flag. And I give honors to the flag of my descent, that Moorish flag, that red flag with a five-pointed green star in the center. Five points symbolize the five highest principles known to man, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I give honor to the charter that gives us the legal right to operate on this soil. I give honor to you because when man honors man, he honors his father, God, Allah, as long as long. I like to start with a with how attached we are to this physical life or what Jesus said, this carnal life, right? And it'll call you to, to love people, hmm. right? Because that's one of the principles we teach, we teach love. And that love for one of us when someone leaves that you love, mm -hmm. we still got an attachment. We still feel the loss of the physical, seeing them, touching them, being able to talk to them. 
And it helped me realize how much of a blessing those things are. Mm-hmm. To feel the one you love, to talk to the one you love, to just bask in their presence and, you know, exchange energies and memories, you know? And I always cherished it. But when a crisis happened in my life, a different light went off, mm-hmm. right? Because, you know, I had to suffer the loss of my mother. Mm-hmm. And uh, it made me look at things a little different. It made me view things a little different. So it made me take a step forward when I took a step back. Meaning sometimes when you take a step forward and you do something, you take two steps back, right? So mm-hmm. and getting where you need to go. And um, I realized how much I loved my mother. Even though you might, you, you know, you love your mother and you know, you sometimes you talk, sometimes you may disagree and you know, you just, life happens. But the love of the person that brought you into the world and what she went through you know, the choices mine's had at the age of 16. Mm-hmm. I didn't have to be here. She could have had a whole life in front of her, mm-hmm. you know? So how unselfish was she? You know, how loving was she? You know, so it's like, and and the only thing that I could sum it up would be, you know, chapter four for me, so, right? Because, you know, it's no language, right? There's no language that can describe a mother's work, right? Mm-hmm. Song. Wow. 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 When do we, as individuals, really comprehend that, right? Because if anybody's like me, it don't hit you until that person is no longer here to talk to, you can't call and ask a question to, you can't. You can't really grasp that, right? Because, you know, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. It may not seem like a lot to some, but for me, it was a lot. And it ain't really hit me yet. Like, really, really hit me, right? And I realized that because at a lot of points for me, I had to be, I had to show more of a, I got it together, y'all, you know, for the, for the rest of my siblings and some of my family, you know, because a lot of them look up to me. So if they see me break it down, it's like, oh, my God, the world is over, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. So it's a little different, you know, maybe once or twice they may quote me, you know, but you still got to be, look, it's no time to panic. You know, mm-hmm. we all got minds, you know, but it's a growth, you know, it's another level of responsibility, more weight on your shoulders, right? And I'm going to not talk everybody's ear off because I feel myself right now getting around and I apologize. So I would take a reading from chapter four, chapter one, I mean, excuse me. I'm going to take a reading from chapter four, Divine Instructions from the Holy Prophet, chapter four, Death and Burial of Elizabeth, uh, Mathino's Lessons, The Ministry of Death. Instruction one, when John was 12 years old, his mother died and neighbors laid her body in a tomb among her kindred in the Hebron burying ground and near to Zachariah's tomb. And John was deeply grieved. He wept. uh, Mathino said, it is not well to weep because of death. Death is no enemy to man. It is a friend who when the work of life is done just cuts the cord that binds, binds the human boat to earth 
that it may sail on smoother seas. That's a smooth way of explaining that. That's the first thing I thought when I read that. Sonic. That's real smooth, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a, a soft touch to what the carnal self feels, mm -hmm. right? But how many people can actually listen to that? Just Asia. How many people can really listen to that and be like, yeah, mm -hmm. right? Because we so much, we have so much attachments to the lower self. It ain't easy, no matter how you say it. But praise our law for the prophet. Mm -hmm. Praise our law. No language can describe a mother's word. And yours was tried and true, but she was not called hence until her tasks were done. The cause of death are always for the best, for we are solving problems there as well as here, and the one is sure to find, and one is sure to find himself where he can solve his problems best. It is selfishness that makes one wish to call again to earth departed souls. Then let your mother rest in peace. Just let her noble life be strength and inspiration unto you. Here's the warning and here's the new level. A crisis in your life has come and you must have a clear conception of the work that you are called to do. The sages of the ages call you harbinger. The prophets look to you and say, he is Elijah come again. Your mission here is that of a harbinger for you will go before the Messiah's face to pave the way and make the people ready to receive their king. This readiness is purity of heart. None but the pure of heart, the pure in heart can recognize the king. To teach men to be pure in heart, you must yourself be pure in heart, in word and deed. That's hard, mm -hmm. right? Because this instruction shows you how to, you know, pure in heart, what that purity symbolizes. Mm -hmm. But we got to have that pure in heart and words and in deeds. Mm -hmm. That's a heavy demonstration. That's wrong. Because sometimes our heart may be pure, but our words may be disgusting. Mm. Our heart and words may be pure, but our deeds is just twisted mm -hmm. and vice versa. So it takes a lot for us to be in that, to find that harmony, to find that balance, to find that vibration we are looking for that manifests those five principles, which are love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. So I say... With a heavy heart and a short conception of where I'm going, take your time, Mors. Don't rush. You know, it's a process. And sometimes you just got to respect the process. So, I came in Islam and I'll leave you in peace. peace. Oh, I can't see Allah. But I feel him in my bones, oh, I feel him in my bones, oh, I feel him in my bones. No, I can't see a lot, but I feel him in my bones. Feels like fire stirred up, fire stirred up, fire stirred up, all in my bones, in my bones. It's <laughs> on. Islam. 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 I'd like to thank our assistant treasurer, Brother K. Turner Bay, for uh, his readings, but also for his words. 
as the uh, brother expressed, he lost his mother due to that process of the transition and the sailing on smoother seas as the more, you know, extend that thought once again. And just connecting it to uh, the divine instructions from the Holy Prophet. You know, I'm sitting in there and you hear it and there's certain things that just rings true, you know. What is it that anoint the feed with the oil of wisdom? There's aspects of that experience. That experience that it takes for you to have to go through to be able to relate to some of these instructions within the Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America, right? Whoever says I want to go and sit in the school of learning how to deal with a transition in mom or a parent that is transitioned. Who says? Who? That's our test, though. Because if we're going to be like our brother, man, Jesus, Prophet Noble Jew Ali, there are things we're going to find ourselves passing through, trials, tests, and tribulations. And I just uh, just want to give honor to the brother, to his mother, just for utilizing these instructions to bring forth that thought. So without further ado, I'm going to call on our next speaker of the evening. I'm going to call on brother I. Smith Eel, our assistant secretary, after a song. What your nationality? It is Moorish American, same as noble Juwali, same as noble Juwali. What's your nationality? It is Moorish American, same as noble Juwali, same as noble Juwali. Feels like fire is stirred up, fire is stirred up, fire is stirred up, all in my bones, in my bones. When you meet a Moors, raise your right hand, say Islam, raise your right hand, say Islam, raise your right hand, say Islam. When you meet a group of Moors. Raise your right hand, say it's long. Feels like fire stirred up. Fire stirred up. Fire stirred up. All in my bones, in my bones. It's long. It's long. It's long. It's long. It's long. It's long. Happy Holy Day. Happy Holy Day. First, I rise and give praise to the great God Allah, Almighty, eternal, and incomprehensible. Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, Father of the universe. I give high honors to the last prophet in these days, Prophet Noble Draw Ali, the founder of the Moorish Science Temple of America. And I give honors to the forerunner of the prophet, the harbinger, Brother Marcus Mosiah Garvey. I give honors to each and every one of you because a man honors man, he honors his father, God Allah. And I give honors to everything that the previous speakers and the acting chairman, Assistant Grand Sheik, Sister CCO Zio, gave honors to at the onset of the meeting. Happy Holy Day once again. Happy, Happy Holy Day. Yeah. You know, once again, I like to I like to give honors to speakers that have come before me tonight because of their, you know, their their dedication to this movement with their their mind, their spirit, their energy, and, and everything in their being that that brings and, and and brings them to their meetings because, like like the sister, like the brother, were saying, you know. We're, we're going through trials and tribulations and perfected man must pass through all the ways of life and every step of the way there's another lesson to be learned and, you know i always think about the saying or or said that the prophet has said that you have to make it to the temple even if you have to crawl and that could be in a literal sense but i when i think about it i think about it in a spiritual or, or metaphysical sense like your mind could still be pulling you down into those those dismal crypts, into those into those greatest depths where every single thought is trying to prevent you from going anywhere near the temple. Thoughts are trying to prevent you from going anywhere near the Holy Quran, trying to prevent you from doing anything nice to your brother or your sister or to your family member, especially in, in such hard times like the winter or, or the holiday season. But I, I love that instruction from chapter four about let her noble life be strength and inspiration unto you mm -hmm. that that instruction applies to to mothers but i feel like it just applies to anyone who's lost a family member or a friend or someone close to them that 
light that they are, that that spirit that they are is what, you know, keeps us going here on this side. So I'd say praise Allah for these thoughts and praise Allah praise for those, Allah. these marks. Today, I'd like to take a reading from the Holy Quran of the Morris Sun's Temple of America in chapter 13. Divine Instructions from the Holy Prophet, found on page 21. Life and works of Jesus in Egypt among the Gentiles. Divine Instruction 1 reads, Jesus with Elihu and Salome in Egypt tells the story of his journeys. Elihu and Salome praise Allah. Jesus goes to the temple in Heliopolis and is received as a pupil. And Jesus came to Egypt land and all was well. He tarried not upon the coast. He went at once to Zone, home of Elihu and Salome, who five and 20 years before had taught his mother in the sacred school. And then there was joy when met these three. When last the son of Mary saw these sacred groves, he was a babe. And now a man, grown strong by buffeting of every kind, a teacher who has stirred the multitudes in many lands. And Jesus told the aged teachers all about his life, about his journeys in foreign lands, about the meetings with the masters and his kind receptions by the multitudes. Elihu and Salome heard his story with delight. They lifted up their eyes to heaven and said, Our Father God Allah, let now thy servants go in peace, for we have seen the glory of Allah. And we have talked with him, the messenger of love and of the covenant of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Through him shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Mm -hmm. Through him, Emmanuel. And Jesus stayed in zone many days and then went forth into the city of the sun that men called Heliopolis and sought admission to the temple of the sacred brother. The council of the brotherhood convened and Jesus stood before the hierophant. He answered all questions that were asked with clearness and with power. The hierophant exclaimed, Rabbi and I of the rabbin, why come you here? Your wisdom is the wisdom of the gods. Why seek for wisdom in the halls of men? And Jesus said, in every way of life, I would walk. In every hall of learning, I would sit. The heights that any man has gained, these I would gain. What any man has suffered, I would meet, that I may know the griefs, the disappointments, and the sore temptations of my brother men that I may know just how to support those in need. I pray you brothers, let me go into your dismal crypts and I would pass the hardest of your tests. Mm -hmm. The master said, take them the vow of secret brotherhood. And Jesus took the vow of secret brotherhood. Again, the master spoke. He said, the highest heights are gained by those who reach the greatest depths and you shall reach the greatest depths. The guide then led the way, and in the fountain Jesus bathed, and when he had been clothed in proper garb, he stood again for the hierophant. Praise Allah. Praise Allah, Praise Allah for this chapter, Mars. Mm -hmm. This one really stuck with me for the past few weeks as I was preparing my mindset for this year. It personally connects to me because of the age that Jesus is at at this point in time and the age that I'm about to be. But separating it from the timeline and age, I think it's significant. The question that Jesus asks, or not even the question, but the declaration and the conviction that he has, knowing or being willing to go into these sacred schools to be taught, to, to become a member of the sacred brotherhood without fully knowing what that would entail or what that would require from him or what would be asked of him or what he would have to go through, he chose. And that's a choice that we have to make every day, that I, I find myself making every day. Instruction 12 reads, and Jesus said, in every way of life, I would walk in every hall of learning, I would sit. The heights that any man has gained, these I would gain. In 13, what any man has suffered, I will meet, that I may know the griefs and the disappointments and the sore temptations of my brother man, that I may know just how to succor those in need. When I think about these instructions, I think about how if you ask most people 
they would just want to reach the heights that any man has gained without doing any of the work, without experiencing any of the lows, just the pleasures and the enjoyments of sensory life, of this plane of things made manifest. Mm -hmm. These things offer more joy to people. These things offer instant gratification to people. But we know that is fleeting. We know that things of this physical world are illusions and will change and pass away. But deep beneath the soil of carnal life, we can find those gems. We can find all of the things that are worth more than rubies and pearls and diamonds because Allah put them in us. We have all of the wisdom, all of the strength, and the direct cord to Allah within us to get through all of these obstacles, to get through all of these tests, to get through all of the dismal crypts that we may face in our own personal life. So I'd just like to highlight that fact that even though we may experience these depths, those heights, those great, great heights belong to us just as much. I'd like to thank the acting chairman for calling on me. I came in love and leave the more in peace. I'm running, running, running. I can't tell me I'm running, running, running. I can't tell you I'm running, running, running. I can't tell you I'm running up the Moorish Highway. If my brother don't go, I can't tell you if my brother don't go. I can't tell you if my brother don't go. I can't tell you I'm running up the Moorish Highway. If my sister don't go, I can't tell you if my sister don't go. I can't tell you if my sister don't go. I can't tell you I'm running up the Moorish Highway. If my children don't go, I can't tell you if my children don't go. I can't tell you if my children don't go. I can't tell you I'm running up the Moorish Highway. I'm running, running, running. I can't tell you I'm running, running. I can't tell you I'm running, running, running. I can't tell you I'm running up the Moorish Highway. Islam. 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 I would like to thank our assistant secretary for his reading of the divine instructions from the Holy Prophet, chapter number 13, Life and Works of Jesus in Egypt among the Gentiles, but also for his communication at the onset, his recognition of just these different tests and challenges that we pass through and just the recognizing of different things that it takes to be able to continue to stay on the path mm -hmm. and even just, you know, looking with his eyes, looking looking for the best in others mm -hmm. because there's always things to pull. So I appreciate the brother giving the demonstration of just looking for the best in others within his communication. Mm -hmm. um, and I also recognize that he was tying in once again, the Holy Quran into where he is in his stage of life. And even mm -hmm. not, you know, numerically, yes, reaching a certain stage, but also the depth mm -hmm. of the question and of the purpose. And so critical thinking, critical reading and, and self-application with, with um, reflection, I think is a beautiful demonstration. So um, I, without further ado, our brother chairman is here and ready to go. And so I'm going to turn the podium over to our brother chairman, brother C. Ferguson. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Come and go with me to my father's house, my son, to my father's house, my son, to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. There is peace, peace, peace. They all walk over there in my father's house, my son, in my father's house, my son, in my father's house. They all walk over there in my father's house. There is peace, peace, peace. There's no confusion there in my father's house. Muslim, in my father's house. Muslim, in my father's house. They all walk over there in my father's house. There is peace, peace, peace. Islam, Islam. Praise and rise in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, Father of the universe. Father, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, the author, the creator, the governor of the world, almighty, eternal, and incomprehensible. 
to the one who's supreme, most wise and beneficent, to him alone, to not worship, adoration, thanksgiving, and praise. And like I said, praise the law, praise the law, praise the law, for sending the divine prophet. Mm -hmm. Last prophet he did in time, who came in due time. Mm -hmm. The fallen sons and daughters of the Asiatic nation in North America, teaching them how to learn to love instead of hate. Teaching them about their higher self and lower self. Teaching those things to make them better men, better women, better husbands, better wives, better children. Teaching those things to make them be industrious. Our prophet, your brother, man, <laughs> Prophet Noble Jew Ali, born in the state of North Carolina, January 8, 1886. I'd like to go on to all the prophets of Allah, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, and Confucius, etc. I'd like to go on to everything from Jefferson with our acting chairman and also AGS, and also all the rest of the walls that gave honors. I'd like to go on to everyone. Who's working for the uplifting of fallen humanity? I'd like to read from the Holy Quran and more signs of America. Search and heaven. This line is prepared by the noble prophet Wali, by the guidance of his father, God Allah, the great God of the universe, the leading man from the sinful and the fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father, God, my God. I'd like to go to page 10. Divine instruction from the Holy Prophet, chapter 5. After the feast, the homeward journey, the missing Jesus, the search for him, his parents found him in the temple. He goes with them to Nazareth, symbolic meaning of the coffin's tomb. The great feast of the Pasch was ended, and the Nazarene were journeying towards their home. And they were in Samaria. And Mary said, Where is my son? <laughs> no one has seen the boy. And Joseph sought among their kindred, who were on their way to Galilee, but they had seen him not. Then Joseph's men and the son of Zebedee returned and sought to all Jerusalem, but could find him not. And Mary asked to God, had they seen Jesus, a little boy about 12 years old? God replied, yes. He is in the temple now disputing with the doctors of the law. And they went in and found him as the God has said, and Mary said, why Jesus, why do you treat your parents thus? Though we have sought two days for you. We feared that some great harm had overtaken you. And Jesus said, do you not know that that must be about my father's work? When he went around and pressed the hand of every doctor of the law and said, I trust that we meet again. And he went forth with his parents on their way to Nazareth. And when they reached their home, he wrought with Joseph of Carpenter. One day, as he was bringing forth the two, the two for work, he said, these tools remind me of the ones we handle in the worship of the mind, where things are made of thought and where we build up character. We use the square to measure all our lines to straighten out the crooked places of the way to make the corners of a convex square. Mm -hmm. We use the compass to draw the circles around our passions and desires to keep them in the bounds of righteousness. We use the axe to cut away the naughty, useless, and ungainly parts and make the character symmetrical. We use the hammer to drive home the truth, to pound it in until it become a part of every part. We use the plane to smooth the rough, uneven surface of joint and block and board that go to build the temple for the truth. The chisel, the line, the plummet, and the saw all have their uses in the worship of the mind. And then this ladder with its trinity of step, faith, hope, and love on which we climb up to the dome of purity and life. And on the 12th step ladder, we ascend until we reach the pinnacle of that which life is spent to build the temple of perfect man. Yes, I read the entire chapter, divine instruction for the holy chapter, holy prophet, chapter five, after the feast, the homeward journey, the missing Jesus, the search for him, his parents found him in the temple, he goes to the death of Nazareth, symbolic meaning of the coffin is too, the fallen sons and daughters, the age of the nation in North America, need to learn to love instead of hate. You know, the higher self and lower self, this united of the holy Quran and Mecca, the teaching instructed on more to make an affair from the Holy Quran and more sense of the miracle. 
Know yourself and your father that I know, that you may learn that love and study hate. Every man needs to work in his own environment to keep you in that room. Praise the law for these holy days. Praise the law for these divine instruction. Praise the law for the lesson that we learn upon this journey of life. Mm-hmm. You know, I was listening to the brothers as they spoke, which was beautiful. All of us got to deal with the crisis of life, mm-hmm. one way or the other. I dealt with mine. And Brother Condena made that with her. Uh, Sister Seals, I know you dealt with a few. You had a few deaths, you know, coming through your life. And those are, those are questions what we learn from them. Because what it does is it allows us to administer to others, you know, to help them as they go through whatever whatever trials and tribulations that they go through in life. And it's very important. Because what you do, you are sending yourself to another person, you know. Because you can feel the pain and the suffering and everything that you have suffered, you know, especially when you did with your mom or your parents or anybody close to you, mm-hmm. you know. We got to say, but one thing the prophet gives us is the tools to work with it, mm-hmm. you know. You know, he gives us the tools to work with it, and he gives us the, the ability to be able to deal with whatever situation comes at us. And I say, there's a crisis in our life that comes, and we have to we have to work with that crisis. And we have many more crises. We must give. We must go through and many more situations. Man must go through all the ways of life. And that's where the carnal will fully manifest. The nature that's transformed from what? From Sister Just read the chapter today. <laughs> you, know, you know, man. What did you say? You know, and it's very important when you ask all these questions, and you give us all the answers to these questions. You know. Talking about wisdom, talking about power, talking about force. You know, we got the ability, each and every one of us has that seed of policies within each and every one of us. Mm-hmm. We have the policies. And don't, don't forget that. No matter what it appears to be, what we're going through, we understand the law of man or woman. So, that you call them thoughts and words. We, we throw ourselves away from all that. The brother was talking about the will. Yeah, we had a will. We had a strong will to choose. But we just we just debase ourselves to a calm and thought word and deed. Mm-hmm. So we don't want to continue to do that, especially when the prophet came and give us some tools to be able to bring us back up to the Godman and the God woman like self again. Because the prophet said, Your faith, you gotta have faith. Faith is the surety of the omnipotence of Allah, the certainty that man will reach right, the ethic life. Mm-hmm. No if hands supposed to body. Because that's the pattern that the prophet set for us. He let us know that, okay, these are the trials that we're going to go through. He always tells us the problem, and also, but he also gives us a solution to the problem. So we can resolute ourselves. He gave you, he gave you a body friendship with weakness, but he gave you a soul, all the resolution. You know? So that's a blessing in itself that he, he's so merciful. I and mean, that's why I said we got to give thanksgiving and praise to the great God Allah for sending us a divine prophet. In the condition that we was going through, praise be yeah. Allah, we needed a prophet. So. Because he knew what we need. He knew what the age that he needed. He didn't give him a big book, small little pamphlet, mm-hmm. medicine cabinet. He can go and solve all the problems that he may, he may be faced with. And it's very important that, that we are, that, that, that we apply it, we put it to work. You know, just like you talk about these tools. We got to use the tools. We got to use the tool in the workshop of the mind where things are made of thought on what we build up our character. You know, that's our whole thing. We want to build up that Moorish character, that Moorish, that the God-like character. That's what we want to do. And this is these lessons will make us do that. Hmm. Use the compass to draw what the circles of one of your passions and you know. So I would tell you, you must be here without that you must hear, you must be here without your passions. And we don't want to get caught up. You know, we have it, we all got it. We have a passion for everything that we do. And we love, we love what we do. But we just have to, you just have to keep it in the bounds of moderation. Don't overdo it. Mm-hmm. Except, you know, we don't want to go too much or over too much. We want to stay on, on point. So, brother, so Allah, so Allah bless us with a divine prophet, you know, give us those things that we need to make us better men, better women, better husband, better wife, better children, you know. We praise the law for the mothers that are taking their time out, 
multitasking. <laughs> wow, you know, when I look at them and I see what they did and what my mother did, what your mother did, I mean, you know, you know, especially like when you're talking about brother, when you're talking about his mother, his father passed and mother had to, to step up. With all these children, all these different spirits, all these souls that, that she was raising. Which she tried to keep them on, on point. And that's one of the things that we have to give. We got to give them out to the mothers because the one thing that they want to keep us those values, those things that they know that we need. What do we understand them then or not? But we understand them now. So what they were trying to do. You know, so we got it. We I give honor to the mothers and honor to the fathers and honor to those who step up. You know, I had to give honors. You know, a man honors man, he honors father, God of love. A man does for man, he does for his father, God of love. And like I said, we want to give a life and sacrificial service to all of life, and Allah is pleased. Because we are, and like we always, no, we always say, we in the uplifting business. That's right. That's what we're here for, the uplift all in humanity. You know, so praise Allah that we are, we are playing a part. Each and every one of us is playing a part. We may not see it, but we're playing a part. Because we know we make an effect on each and every one of our family members and loved ones because it always comes to us. You know, in each family you have one who's born to, to be that to be that one, the sister, the brother, who who they come to. You know, because Allah bless them with that special skill, that special spirit to bring everybody together. A man does a man, he does for his father, God all now. So you must look for the best in other and get the best that's in you. Wow. See, that's the key. We got to do the we, we look for the best in others. But we all can we all can look at the negative. We all can see the negative. Mm -hmm. But we know it's only an illusion. Thing we see over reflex just a pain while the heat just vibrates so and so and condition change, they disappear. <laughs> you know, they disappear. So you know, like I said, we, so we deal with a lot of illusion. But at least we have we have we have the truth to discern truth from falsehood. At least we had you gave us some work, some 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 tools to work with, you know, that we can be able to see beyond the the, 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 the limits of the pole. So praise Allah that you know we know what the soul, God of course she is rash, we feign of course she is regular. Mm -hmm. She's outrageous. Mm -hmm. But we want to be able to keep that tame. He's that spirit to attend to his good. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do. You know, like I say, it's something that's in us that we got to guard up, guard up ourselves at all times against it. You know, and we got to measure by these instructions. You could probably say, you're going to be tested no matter what. I don't care who you are, you're going to be tested. Mm -hmm. You say you, you talk that talk, you better walk that walk, you're going to be tested. Awesome. Let's see what you how you do with the test mm -hmm. when the test come at you. And praise the Lord that we have each other in helping us. And like I said, by our brothers sharing all the experience and all the things that they go through to help us. Mm -hmm. Because we'll be able to help others as in the journey of life. See, we want to be able to help others. We want to be able to assist others. We want to be able to do what, what is right for others. Because we love our race and we love our race. That's why we're going to more rich on the of wow. We want to redeem our race. Mm -hmm. So praise the Lord that we. That, that, that he opened up our eyes and our hearts and our minds, you know, and this, you know, give us that spirit, send us that prophet, you know, he's the pattern, he set the pattern for us, you know, and since we brought at the beginning, we talking about all those who love, yeah, we love Jesus, they, they love Jesus, they love our prophet, love you, Ali. So yeah. those who are me 2,000 years ago, with me, and those who are against me, against me. That's so right. praise the Lord. So don't get caught up in, you know, the, yeah, we love Jesus. <laughs> so we love, they love our prophet. Mm -hmm. You know, they love our prophet. They just don't have the, the instruction that we have in terms of, the, you know, we want to give them the things that they need, to, you know, to let them be them, be themselves. Because sometimes what happens is somebody interpreted things for them and they were saying, man knows not by being told. <laughs> Man may believe what others say, does he never know? Man would know he must himself be what he knows. So, you know, that's why I say, you know, a lot of times, you know, yeah, I've been dealing with a lot of more than I traveling, my fans and moving around. I've been talking about this. 
you know, all these different, all these different things, thinking that that's that will save them. Mm -hmm. You know, last I'll tell them, I just said, we 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 don't believe that. We we follow the prophet. See, we follow what the prophet says, and if they can't show you where that where the prophet say that in in the, in the information is literature, you just keep moving. You know, because they there serve you. And so that's all. You can't get caught up. You love them. We all love them. Because they're our brothers and sisters. Everything is bound by court. They have everything. We, we bound by them. We can't cut ourselves off from them. So whatever affect them, affect us. You know, like Jesus always stirred with pity and love for these four children. The same thing. We feel our people. We love our people. We love our race. I, can, I know we, each and every one of us as we go through the life and we go through, you know, the community, we see the pain and the suffering of our brothers and sisters. You know? You know, going to the sleeping on the floor, and I mean, something like stuff. I have to get them some money because brother going in the garbage to get food. Mm -hmm. And so, thing, and it's something, and, it, and it's terrible for a nation who's supposed to be so rich, mm -hmm. or people who's supposed to be rich don't want to take care of one little poor. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's our job. We do that. We have to make make a way for them to be able to come and get get their nourishment. You need what they need. You know, clean them up. It's our, it is our job. Because a lot of people turn turn they 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 they, they turn they turn their they, they, their eyes and their mouth and everything against them. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to get caught up on that. We love our people. We love them. And we know what we have to do. We have to serve on their came Those on no can the stranger at the gate and the goal seeking in your heart. Sit before and help that we can do one for another. Cover not what is not good. Then what you tell them to hold it on the speed. You know, prepare this vessel. You gotta prepare this vessel. So the holy one was, you know, the holy one was use us, you know. Use us. Then with our tongue, use our tongue. So praise Allah for these divine instructions. Praise Allah for these tools of the worship of the mind. Use them to actually cut away the uses of the game of power. Use the hand to pound it in. Mm -hmm. Make it part of every part, and that's what we do when we come to the Quran class. We pound it in, pound it, pound it in, over and over and over. You know, because this lifetime, this lifetime is lifetime work. You know, nothing that we don't do overnight. But but as we help each other grow, because we're family. You know, family. You have all kind of different. We we know what we had in our, each and all families. You know what kind of trials we had. Mm -hmm. You know what kind of Things that we had to deal with. <laughs> so, you know, praise the law for, for allowing us to have those experiences. You know, allowing us to look at ourselves and be ourselves and know ourselves. Praise the law. Praise the law for, for sending us a prophet. Praise the law for sending us all, the, all those who help us keeping these doors open. You know? And all those who, like I said, who love their prophet, you know, who sacrifice for their prophet, you know, and that's what we have to do is give our life and sacrificial service to the all of life and the laws. Please praise Allah. At this time, I'd like to call the last speaker of the evening before I bring this forth. Please give me under my intention. I'd like to thank old Grand Sheik of Timber Number 34 by the W. Kennedy Bay after a song. Prophet's birthday, prophet's birthday, Muslim sing, Muslim sing, happy, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday, Drew Ali, Drew Ali, 8th of January, 8th of January, 1886, 1886, happy, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday, Drew Ali, Drew Ali. No old prophet, no old prophet. We love you, we love you. Happy, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. Drew Ali, Drew Ali. Time to celebrate, time to celebrate. Peace on earth, peace on earth. Happy, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. Drew Ali, Drew Ali. Prophet's birthday, Prophet's birthday, Muslim sing, Muslim sing, 
Happy, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday, Juwali, Juwali. Islam, Morch America. Islam. Praise Allah. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The great God made you. Mm. You know, all intelligence, all wise, all powerful, mm -hmm. made you. Mm -hmm. Islam Belordia. Islam. Praise Allah. Praise, Praise Allah. Allah. Honor to our Prophet, Prophet Noble Jew Ali. Islam. You know, this is a good time of the year. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, every time is a good time of the year. You know, when, when you see all the stuff going out in society, mm -hmm. people running to and fro, feeling good and seeing the family, mm -hmm. you know. Loving up on each other. Yeah. That's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, I was thinking, you know, let me give praise to all the prophets, excuse me, to Allah, honor to all the prophets, Noble Jew Ali, Buddha, Confucius, Muhammad, Jesus. Give honor to the Harvard of Marcus Garvey. Give honor to all of our past pre ran by the moderators, to our grand sheep. Uh, Past Brother Arla Bill, Brother Jones Bay, the Hopkins Bay, and all the Moors, all officials, national, state, local. We want to see brothers and sisters here with me today. That's our former brand sheep, Osiris here. You know, just loving them, 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 them. Trying to look at things differently. You know, you ever heard the expression, don't hate the player, hate the game? Huh? You ever heard that? We've heard that, right? Mm -hmm. And what does that usually mean? That usually means the person that has whatever the situation was, used it to their advantage to come out for themselves and they say, don't, don't be upset with me. Be upset with the setup. I just took advantage of the situation. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, I was thinking, I said, what if we changed it to let's love the player and love the game? Okay, to me. So we're not in the hate business, right? Yes. So if that's one way of looking about hating, we just take that same situation and put some love on it. Mm -hmm. You still have the player, and you still got the game. Praise Allah. You know? Now when John said, prepare to meet your king, right? Prepare to meet your king. But then he said, He's not seeking no earthly throne. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's so right. what is the get king of? Mm -hmm. See, because as Moorish Americans who are in the Moorish Science Temple of America, we want to know exactly what the game is. Mm -hmm. Because for too long, we've been Negroes and, and Christianity and uneducated. So we didn't even first know what the game was. No less how to play the game. It's simple as asking someone, and you can ask one of your friends or relatives or people you know about the seven laws of the universe. Simple, simple, right? I mean, we know about gravity. Right? We know about force and physics. Mm -hmm. We might the law of health to the body. And I gotta get to you on the on the sea moss because I'm thinking about the <laughs> brother was like dropping stuff on sea moss. I'm, I'm thinking about Peter's here. So who is he the king of? Because I want to show you how, see, we connected to the king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? Because the king sits at the right hand throne of Allah. See, we know Allah is the great God. And Allah is everything. Mm -hmm. But he set up his son. The king of this. Right? And the king has his people, his crew, if you want to, whatever way you try to understand. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's not just the king. He's got the seven elders. Excuse me, the 24 elders. Right? Known as the cherubim and the seraphim for each of the stages. Right? The stations of the sun. He has the angels of Allah, and then he's the king. So I don't know, you know, you still got 
David and Solomon and Hezekiah and Elijah and John. I mean, you still got plenty. And so the chapter the brother was reading was talking about one of those part of the kingdom on earth, the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. You see? That's why all of the masters had to go to the special school to know about that connection with on high. As above, so below. See, the thing is, I didn't know this before. And now that I know that we're connected and we know that the prophet Noble Dwelly has come to us, right? Connect us back to the higher powers, right? The men and wires. All right? And now you can go in as a man and come out as a god. The Moors want to know about birthrights and nationality. Birthrights and nationality. The Moors don't talk enough about birthrights and nationality. As if the people who are asking about it know what it is and know what the prophet meant. Because if I understood, the prophet starts off chapter one with birthright and then the end of the chapter, the end of the Quran talks about learn the truth about your birthrights and nationality. Well, what is the truth? Is it what some brother on the internet or YouTube or someone made up in their mind that that's the birthright? Or is it what the prophet said? Are you talking about a birthright on this earth plane or your birthright in the whole universe? So you have to understand how it, it got knocked down. You can't, you can't understand what's down here if you don't understand what's up there. So the whole chapter is talking about how we had this birthright. When Allah made us and he planted us in the soil of soul That's right. and we became a living soul and we became the Lord. Right? But then what does it say in the rest of the chapter? That we gave up the birthright. That's right. We gave it up. Right. You lower self. Right. But you gave it up. And then you gave up the birthright then you came down to this plane and you went through the same similar process in which you had the birthright of being the man here on earth, the right to rule the earth. You gave up your right to rule the soul, the sword, excuse me, the soul. You gave up that right. Now you come down here and then you give up that right again. And here the prophet finds us, right? No birthright. And the marks are put on you. Look at you. A black man, a Negro. Hmm. And then you say, I want my birthright. Well, what are your birthrights? Right? And what are your birthrights? So, oh, because I was an Aboriginal indigenous person to a particular land, my, my birth, who said that? I swear to God, I thought it was Allah's land. So now you come down here and you start claiming hmm. that this is yours and that's yours. Hmm. Oh, really? And then you set up this game. Going back to the game. So now, praise the Lord, the prophet has come. You know, prophet's birthday. You know, we're listening to all these different things going on. So we got, we got Christmas, right? And then we have the New Year. And then it wasn't when I was growing up, but in the late 60s, now you got Kwanzaa. And you have a lot of different things that are coming up, and, and you have to ask yourself, do you understand what's going on? So praise Allah, you know, let me read a little bit from the Holy Quran. I was thinking about something, and then Brother Turner Bay, he brought it up in chapter four. I'm going to ask the Turner Bay as he goes forward and helps us develop certain things we want to teach in our civics class. To, we, we want to really focus on this nationality part. When, when a person tells me that a Moorish American is deficient in nationality and civics and citizenship, it makes me feel bad. 
Because we're supposed to be on the top one as far as the Asiatic side. Mm -hmm. So if there's something that's not, let's get it together and bring it to the people. We got to take some extra time in the Quran class for a few months to pound home a few things. I'm always thinking about, if you ever seen the flyer for Drama Day, which is, I think, I believe it's uh, May 16th, 1927. And the prophet did these things. But if you notice, he said he's going to have the sheiks like giving demonstrations on nationality and teaching all these different things about the organization. So I just imagine when I'm sitting there, what would they be saying? Hmm. But going back to earlier in the meeting, the brother read from the chapter, and we're all familiar with it. It says here, no language can describe a mother's worth, if you're following along on page 8, chapter 4. Mm -hmm. And yours was tried and true. Tried and true. I want you to think back to the first time you got some kind of report card, Brother Lordy. The first time you went and took like a spelling test. The first, the first time you realized that either you did okay or you didn't. Like, like before, it was just everything you did was okay. Oh, you're smiling. Oh, you say you say your first, ah, daddy, daddy. Oh, everything's good. And now you come home with that first little test. I don't know, first grade, second grade. You didn't color, you didn't stay in the lines. Something happened. They say, oh, we gave you 10 spelling words. You got cat, you got bat, you got dog. But you missed a couple. You only got 8 out of 10 at 80%. Then your mother comes home, you talk to your mother, your parents, and they say, it's okay, son, do it. Going to try harder. You study a little harder and you try hard. Tried and true. Chapter one says temptations and trials manifold. Going back to the game. This is here. On this plane, you're going to be tried mm -hmm. to see if you're true. If you're not, you got to regroup and you got to get tried again because the essence of it is you have to be true. You have to be true to get to the next level. It's not a matter of you trying to go around the game or some, the rules or anything. You have to be tried and you have to be true. And, and so you go through this process of taking these tests and trying to do better on the test. You fail a class, take it over, try to do better, right? And you ever get to that point, maybe for Smith, the Atlanta, remember this? Hmm. The first time he was at some kind of graduation ceremony, maybe brother. Cyrus here remembers that. And you're sitting there in the audience with your mom and your grandma, and you graduate. And they have these awards. And they call up brother or sister or so-and-so's name. And she's the valedictorian or something. Mm -hmm. And she did all these A's and got this great grade. And now she's in front of everybody. And you're saying, in my mind, I used to say to myself, I go to there and say, oh, I could have did that. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, in your mind, you know you had the potential. And then you start thinking all the time you went to the movies and they would study. All the time you was after school hanging out and they went home and did their homework. And you start thinking like, yeah, I could have done it if I would have did X, Y, and Z. And then they come with the next award, right? And they say, oh, you get 100% attendance. And you go, man, I could have definitely got that one. But that one day, I didn't want to go to school. Or well, that one day, made me think about Sister Seals here. Send out the text to the Moors when her mother passed. Mm -hmm. Letting the Moors know, this is the first meeting. I and mean, she made me think about that person trying to get that 100% attendance. <laughs> like, who even thinks about that? Except the person trying to get the 100% attendance. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm sick and tired. Mom says, no, you can't go to school. Oh, I got to go to school today. Give me something. No, I don't want to mess up my attendance trick. Because they're thinking, I'm being tried. I want to be true. When I was a younger grand chief, we went through a year, and at the end of the year, I started giving the officers grades. You were like, this dude, who he think? Who? Like, you know, like, oh, oh, assistant secretary, you know, I was watching this year. 
I give you a B minus. Bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You know, you could have been a better treasurer, you know what I'm saying? I'll be a B. But you could work on it. Afterwards, they looked at me like, how dare I give them a grade? But what, what about what about testing yourself? See, I wouldn't do that now. Now what I do is, why don't you look into yourself, right? Sister Jordan here, right? You can look into yourself and say, what kind of secretary have I been since September? Hmm. Right? Brother Turner, babe, you look into yourself and say, what kind of assistant treasurer have I been? What kind of she? I, I don't have to ask you. Are you tried? Yes. Are you true? The brother was talking about breaking down, and I'm laughing inside because I said, because you ain't going to break down. Because you a sheep. Mm -hmm. You know, he can. Mm -hmm. It's come to him a couple times, I'm sure, since his mother passed. Mm -hmm. That other nation said, this is an opportunity. See, because when you talk about the kingdom, and Jesus is the king, and we're part of this silent brotherhood here on this earth plane, representing the brotherhood in the other point. And we have a job to do here in America. Did you ever think about why all the nations of the earth are coming to America? Different nations. Have you ever thought about it esoterically? Spiritually? Like the great plan of Allah. You got the Europeans coming over here, people from India coming over here, people from Africa. All these people aren't going to Europe and going to Africa. They all come to America. Why? What, what's this great plan? And it just start happening. Like in the last, what, four or five hundred years. Like what's going on here spiritually? Why are these people coming here? And why did the prophet say, for you long enough to run a government, and you're going to run the government, and you're going to teach peace on earth and goodwill to men, and love to peace and justice? Maybe there's a plan. And if there's a plan on that positive side, coming to the temple, right? We're talking about this battle that Elijah had with the prophets and the prophets of Baal. And how they were battling, the prophets were battling. Mm -hmm. And Elijah challenged them to do something that he would do. And I was just thinking that if Brother Turnabe or Brother Cyrus Seal, or Sister Seal, or any of us is working for Jesus, what on the negative side is coming to work against us to make sure we don't accomplish what we're trying to accomplish? Mm -hmm. You think they're just sitting back and like, well, you know, the prophet got his people and his soldiers, and Jesus got his crew, so we might as well just give up. Even though they cut off the head of Satan, right? Even though they've done all of that, you think he's like, I'm giving up? No. The prophet said you're going to be tried to every inch of your life. You know, if you make it, you'll go. So, tried and true. So you come into the situation, and here it is with death, right? Like my mom passed on the first month, the 10th day in 2017. 2017 adds up to one. The first month, the 10 of the one. On a one, 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 a one month, a one day, and a one year, which adds up to the Trinity, right? She passed away. Seven years ago. And now here it is. The, the brother's mom. And your mom, my wife's um, father, Brother Cyrus Hill's grandmother, right? But 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 we're the Moors. Yeah, shaking a little. I'm sure Brother Cyrus said, oh, my grandma, I remember? I'm sure you're like your mom, your mom. You're like, yeah, my mom. We're shaking. We're shaking, but we're like, enough. The highest self lets you a little bit, just like John, Mathilda said, "Tis not well to weep." Before he was crying, his mother is twelve years old. He's crying. He's like, "Okay, you got it. I got you. You're gonna do that, right, my Lord? You're gonna have those moments, and we got to man up, meaning that the emotional side of us that we've been holding in. That's why we get so when we go, we dump all of it because we've been holding it back so many years. When the sisters releasing and releasing and releasing that that particular, let's say, uh, pressure relief valve, the energy." But the man doesn't do that. So when he lets it go, honey, it's not a little bit like, woo. And then you catch yourself and you say, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, you, you say to yourself, like I, I picked up a man driving down the highway uh, uh, a few days ago. 
and he told me his car caught on fire. Hmm. He was just driving down the road. The thing said the dance floor, slow down, slow down. And the car told him, slow down. Mm -hmm. So he slowed down, pulled over. He said he saw some smoke. He thought his car was overheating. He looked down, the temperature gauge is fine. And he pulled over, now he's seeing a spark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's seeing fire. He grabbed the stuff, jumped out. Right? So now he's in my car. And now all of the stuff is coming on him. And he's in the back of the car telling me what happened. I got to take him here. And the money that he spent, now he don't have no money. And he just got engaged. And, and, and he just started crying. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm crying like a. And he used a certain word. I'm crying like. A, and, and, and I said, I said, it's all right, bro. It's all right. But once you have your cry, you get back on your swing. And you say to the universe, "Here, yeah, okay, you just tried me, but I'm true. Hmm. What? Well, what's next? So now, now I'm on the string deck. Because now, mom's our ancestor." You see what I'm saying? Now I done went through something and now I had to man up or woman up because of the relatives of the situation. I'm not the same person no more. So okay. now it wasn't you trying to get me when I was that person. Now through this experience, I'm a stronger person now because every victory over self gave added strength. Now, Brother Lovio used to talk about things. Mm -hmm. Talk about how you remember how Take up too much time, but Tim and remember going back to grade school. You know, these things have a meaning when we go through these things. Let's say the teacher's putting on a play. We're sitting out here in the audience. We all we all classmates playing the playground together, friends, eat lunch together, right? And we're putting on this play. In this play, we need you to play the good guy. And we need you to play the villain. Hmm. And a certain part of the play, I need you to stab him in his back. Hmm. And in this play, I need you to play this other part in this play. And I need you to play the win. You know, you know how it goes, right? But we're just playing a part, bro. We're just sort of playing a part in life. But we get so caught up in the seriousness, we start taking it like it's personal. And sometimes we don't know the part we're playing in each other's lives. You know, I told them more the other day, and I, I told them on the question and answer period. And you know, when when you got on that roll, and I was like, you know, people don't pay. But he couldn't start off with the hard one. He couldn't just start off saying, "Well, Ferguson, I'm like, yeah, I got you. I already know what you're doing." He started off with the easy ones, like the people that I feel don't like me, but I, that's why I feel. So they don't care, and you already know that. Big old world out there don't care. You can stand on the side of the highway. You see someone coming to help you with your tire. No, no one's coming. Mm -hmm. So you already got that feeling in you. Right, Valoria? No one cares. Mm -hmm. But then but then you're saying, well, well, you know, yeah, no one cares. But, you know, my boy, I grew up with him. He cares. You know what I'm saying? You know, that, that other person, you know, they, there's a few people that care. So he got me with the people that I was upset with. Like, they don't care. Yeah. And I was like, then he got me on the road. He's like, yeah, they don't care. More when the time the lowest nation was finished, oh, the Moors don't care about me. Then it was like, my wife don't care about me. My children don't care about me. I got to a certain point, right? Where the lower, the lower self knew, I got that to the red line now. Because he started talking about, you know, after you go to your wife and your children, you're like, you know, like, oh, what, 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 huh? <laughs> what? That's why I got. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, snap. I know what's going on now. Oh, you think you're going to go to Crockett, don't care, and then Allah don't care about me, right? Oh, you were slick. You were slick. You got me. You got me on a roll. Now I got to back up. And right away the next morning, my wife's giving me a message like Allah speaking to me through her. Right away. And I'm like, see? Yo, he almost had you, huh? I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> tried and true. You gotta get tried. You about to form a grand sheep. Brother Kanemame don't like him. Brother Kanemame is against Brother Cyrus Hill. I'm gonna take the coloring book and just scratch out Brother Cyrus Hill's name and tell everyone he didn't help me and he didn't do all the beautiful. I'm just, he he's no good. And then and then but 
Perfect in your cool. And then the other one said, but, but look, and then he loves me. He loves me, he loves Tanya, he loves Blaze. We've been together. No, 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 he don't. He's against you. And I'm against you, right? I'm against my God daughter, right? Right? I won't let you, I make you sit, everything, right? This is how it works, Moors. But see, the beautiful thing is, you see what I'm saying? As the universe is trying to use reverse psychology on you, mm -hmm. you step back because you know the game. Mm -hmm. So now here you come with your polarity. Here you come with your cause and effect. Here you come with your rhythm. Here you come with all the stuff you need. Oh, and you start working the universe. You work it. People say, I don't know what's going on. You got your circle seven, you got your fed, you walk in that street. Then how's that working for you? <laughs> working pretty good. How's life working for you? Well, you know, I got this in my life. Yo, you need to get up on this. Work it, work it, work it. You're working it, not in a bad way. You're not up there using it and manipulating and using black magic for your selfish self. You're using the white magic, the pure, the one that you can use to heal people, to help people. That's all I give you permission to do. You start working it for the greater good. And Allah gives you more strength. And as you walk in the light, and you start walking in the light, and you start talking about the light, and becoming the light, then you have more strength. But with more strength, when we're in the gym, if Brother Cyrus here, had to keep bringing you up, but you know, I know you go to gym. If I'm lifting 200 pounds, and he's seeing Brother Condemned Bay doing it 20 times real quick, he gonna say, yo, more, I gotta put another 10 on each side. Hmm. Now, more, <laughs> this is good, more. He said, now nah, you used to do 150. Now I got you to two, and you're pretty good with two. I gotta pump you up some more. Can't just leave it at that. He, I just can't leave you with dealing with your mom. Now you're stronger, you're gonna get some more than that. Hmm. You're gonna have to get more. Can imagine if he took you and put you in a situation where the people was looking down at you. When they spitting on you. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then they took you and put you on a cross and crucified you. You know what the Christians say? <laughs> when your back's against the wall, remember his was against the cross. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So remember what he went through. So more when we go through this, let's just try to learn the lesson out of it. And don't take it personal, because when the, when this particular scene or this particular part of the play is over and the curtain comes down, we're going to be back to those people that was playing together in the playground. Before you took on the role of stabbing in the back or doing this or doing that. It's just all an illusion that we're playing. But if you don't know that, if you don't know about the seven laws of the universe, if you don't know about the one that sits at the right hand throne of God, if you don't know about your birthrights in the other planes and in this plane, if you don't know your nationality, you don't know about your prophet, it's like this. I go with this cast Jasper, my foreign exchange student. And I don't know if you ever did the thing where they put the goggles on your eye, you're virtually like in a game. <laughs> I never did that before. So the guy comes to me and he gives me this look like a gun. So you push this for grenade, you push this for bullet, and you push this and it makes you go to the other platform. All right, y'all ready? Put this thing on me. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't even find him. He's shooting at me. I couldn't even see where I'm. So after the game, I said to myself, I said, that's like an Asiatic in America. Got the gun in his hand. Someone told him something briefly. And he's like all over the place, but he don't know what he's doing, and he's getting shot up. You know what I'm saying? But here come the Moorish American. They know. They know how to use the things of prophet. Why do you think the prophet Noble Drawley? I always, I always think about this, right? Our people were pretty much familiar with Jesus and Muhammad. I always wonder about the Buddha and Confucius part. Mm. You know, that, that's something, when you when you talk to a Muslim brother, mm. or a Christian, well, when you talk to a Muslim brother, and you talk about Jesus and Muhammad, you're pretty good. Right? Once you say Buddha, mm. 
Confucius. Now with the Christian brother, if you even say Muhammad, you're ready. And, and to think about, you ever heard of the organization Jews for Jesus? Mm -hmm. There's some people in the Jewish faith don't recognize Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius, or whatever. But just think about it. We're here and we have an understanding. You know, the prophet's birthday is on Monday. Uh -huh. And I had mentioned to the brothers before about helping out the sisters. And we're coming to that moment. And I was just thinking about all the prophet's birthdays past where I enjoyed the nice meeting. Right, so still there. They don't even get to enjoy the whole meeting. You see them popping in and out. You're like, know why do they keep on coming out? You know, they're getting the food ready, people coming with supplies, and you're just doing the next speaker and you're singing your song. See, that's what you're doing. Most of the brothers, right? The sisters are popping in and out, children, right? And then after the meeting, right? Right, but sorry, stressing brother people we haven't seen, right? And then, oh, the elders are getting their food, right? And then you see your sister pop up, bringing a, a plate to one of the elders, right? And the next thing you know, the Lord Hill, next thing you know, you downstairs and you got you a plate. And you're smiling, these sisters are there, and they're giving you food, and you're going up and you're conversating, right? Have you ever thought about how their prophet's birthday going? How is their prophet's birthday going? How did they start their day like a normal mother? Then they probably had to do something extra and bring something extra to the temple, as the sisters do. Then they get to the meeting, and they're in and out trying to do that. Then the next thing they're serving, they're smiling at you. Sometimes they got a sister's auxiliary uniform, which not might be the attire they wanted to wear to be a high holy day or whatever, but they're going like good troopers, serving you the food. And then you're sitting there going back for dessert. And you're sitting there, and some of the brothers that got wives that have the, the nerve to even say that, when do you think you're going to be finished? And they look at you like, oh, are you kidding me? So we're going to go serve. Serve the queens. Mm -hmm. Flip the script. Have a seat. Relax. We come in and bed. You want some more racist stuff? I'm going to be there, hopefully, with your red bow ties. If you don't want one of the ones we got, bring one of your red bow ties. <laughs> if you can. Praise our Lord. You know, happy prophet's birthday, man. Happy prophet's birthday. You know, <laughs> one, of the, one of the lessons I'm learning this year is being able to let people be themselves. Mm -hmm. you know? I always had this kind of like, it's like, you got to be this way. And the more logically when I think about it, I'm like, it's not, it's not no truth. <laughs> Jesus said in all the world, there's two things, Brother Chan. Okay. What's the one thing? One is true, the other is false. And false is that which seems to be. <laughs> How is it that after Allah, the most noble thing, Brother Lordy, after Allah, the most noble thing after Allah is the woman in this universe. How is it that we on this earth plane, including myself, have come to a point where we treat them the way we treat them? Hmm. Every single one of us came through a woman, right? The brother was just talking about the appreciation you have after the fact. Just like your parents or your children will have or people you know after you're gone. Man, that was a good brother. I remember that time, you know what I'm saying? After the fact. But the thing about Moorish American is that we learn that when you honor man, you honor Allah. And to withhold from a man honor is both mean and unjust. We know that when you know thyself, know thyself, I'm gonna sit down, brother Chandler. But I'm, you know, I'm loving the prophet's birthday. We 
and ignorant as thou art, O man, mm -hmm. humble as thou ordered to be, O child of the dust, wouldst thou raise thy thoughts to infinite wisdom, wouldst thou see omnipotence displayed before thee, contemplate thy frame. This song more, come on, stand up for me. Omnipotence. That's what this chapter is saying. If you want to see these things, look at yourself. Sister Michaela, thank you. Look, omnipotence. Omnipotence. See, we can see it. See, when we see it and we start to understand it, we can get to the bottom part where it says, know thyself and the pride of his creation. Islam. The pride is his creation. I was just thinking about the brothers today and thinking about this bloodline. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Seeing the common denominator, I said, is your mama. That what I see is reacting with him and his brother. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know about your father, his father, two different fathers, but I know the one thing got the same mama. And so that's one thing is like vibing through me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to wonder who her mama was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. And who her mama was. Mm -hmm. You know, what's been coming down the pipe? You know? The pride. Thank you, more. This is the pride. And so when we start to recognize it, we start walking down the street and we start realizing we're the pride of Allah's creation. You got to look at this part here when you're confronted with the rest of the world. The pride of his creation. The line uniting divinity and matter. Man, truth and falsehood, strangely mixed. Mm -hmm. The line uniting divinity and matter, the line is man. Mm -hmm. You are the line. And you unite divinity and matter. And here it says, behold a part of Allah himself within thee. Remember thy own dignity. You know, when you used to walk out the house, your parents or people say, well, remember who you are. Hmm. You're my son. You're my daughter. You're my grandson. Right? Remember, I think about Turner Bay, when they were talking about one time when mama claimed it. They claimed it. You know what I'm saying? They claimed you as yours. So here it's talking about how if you know that Allah is a father mm -hmm. and a part of Allah himself is within thee, remember thy own dignity, nor dare descend. Yeah. To evil Word. or to meanness. Mm -hmm. And I saw this other thing the other day that says if you had to choose between being right mm -hmm. or being kind, mm -hmm. choose kindness, because then you'll be right. There's mm -hmm. all But so many times in my life, mm -hmm. thinking to myself, that I was doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. The right thing to say. The right thing to do. But were you being kind? Mm -hmm. Evil and mean. Descend mm -hmm. now. Happy to be in the temple. Happy Prophet's birthday. <clears throat> Praise Allah. May Allah continue to bless all of us. And thank you all so much for everything you've done to help uh, Temple 34 be what it, it is, you know. Uh, when you think about being tried and true, you think about different schools, you think about our, some of our highest places of learning, mm -hmm. like MIT. You know what I'm saying? You think about some of the other places might not have such credentials to get in. So you want to think about what we're trying to do. We're trying to be tried and true. We're trying to uplift ourselves. And it's a blessing that all of you are here on the road with me. Thank you so much for the chairman giving me the opportunity to speak. Peace. Peace. you Ali came in this land for the sake of simple man. And he had all trials almost every day. And he and he know the way you feel. He can save and he can heal. He's, He's the joy of my salvation. salvation. Yes, yes, he is. 
He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Oh, he's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Just to know he came for me and took slavery and set me free. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. You are the king of this land. When put on the sea and one on the land, and he declared that the time has been will be no more. Well, he called you and me the same. He brought our flag a national name. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Oh, he's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Just to know he came for me. And for slavery has set me free. He is the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. You are the went to Washington, D.C. for the rights of you and me. And that's when they saw their hand riding on the wall. They all were filled with fear. They say their Redeemer is here. He is the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. He is the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Oh, he is the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Just to know he came for me and from slavery has set me free. He is the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. You are the went to Western D.C. for the rights of you and me. And that's when they saw the end riding on the wall. Well, they hung their head in shame. Because they knew they were to blame. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Oh, he's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Just to know he came to me and to slay me and set me free. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. It's on. It's on. Praise the Lord, like that old grand sheep. For his illustration. And you're touching on all different subjects, all different angles, and all different looking at for us to think of reflecting on ourselves, to be ourselves. That's the key. To be yourself. And to be tried and true. You have to be tried. Man must go to what? All the ways of life. That's right. All the ways of life, and there's many more ways we have to go through. So praise Allah that He prepared us to deal with the buffering of every kind of stuff. We know, that's right. you know, and and give us the example because He show us, you know, what 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 He had to go through. You know, to go back to that state of mind of His forefathers and foremothers. Very important. So I like to thank him also. I like to thank you, Grashi, for the illustration and sharing all the information that you shared. Let me read the one. Divine warning by the Prophet Nobu Duani. Prophet wants our Muslims, governors, want to read proclamation that he's reading. I hear my from all members that they must end all radical, agitated speeches while at work, in their homes, or on the streets. We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards as you appeal to cause of confusion. Remember your card is for your salvation. Say that these orders will be of severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and when these principles are violated, Justice must then take his court. Any member of group of members who hold malicious feelings toward the temple or the prophet who violate the divine covenant of the Moorish movement will receive their reward from Allah for their unjust deeds. All true Moors will and must obey the law as laid out to them by the prophet. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn their card and button. Cease wearing their turbans and fairs and return to the state where I, the prophet, found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet Noble Du Ali. And the prophet did not write the temple, is not right. The prophet therefore is sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting their prophet and the temple. It's an everlasting movement founded by the prophet through the will of Allah 
to redeem his people from their sinful ways by a order of prophets, nobles, you are the peace. Come on, Sister Muffy. Yeah, come on. Because I think you could have done better today. Mm -hmm. Definitely didn't do the best job. So your sister M. Serrano Bay, mm -hmm. who's going to help carry the basket and serve the prophet in the temple, Good. hoping that that's fine. I can help. So the PDC won't have to stop. Traveling and public collection. No, but in a local building. <laughs> Public, this one's in public. Okay, let's see. Your sister. Thank you. It's on. It's on. Sister Secretary. It's off, Sister Secretary. Mr. Joy Neal. Islam. Oh. Islam, Chairman, how are you? Oh, great, great. I'll, I'll be praying. <laughs> Praise Allah. First, I'm going to rise and praise to Allah. I'm going to give high honors to the Prophet, Prophet Noble Drali, and to everything that the um, opening chairman gave honors to. The announcements I have are as follows. Oh, thanks. Just wanted to take a moment to remind the Moors that at this time, which is secretary time, if you're in the temple, that this is an opportunity for you to pay your dues um, in person. Um, it is the first of the month, and it's a good opportunity if you keep a certain practice of when you want to pay your dues. You can do so in person, or you can um, do so using the uh, cash app, that's dollar sign, MSTA34. That's for cash app, it's dollar sign, MSTA34. Um, if you are attending Temple, today is Friday, our holy day. Friday is the, the holy day for all Muslims all over the world. And um, we greet you in, with a happy Holy Day. Um, our meetings, our Holy Day meetings are held on Fridays from 7.30 p.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. Yeah. And then you can join us on Sunday for Sunday school from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Um, that's when we take time to go over our questionnaire and uh, Quran questions and you know, more of discussion uh, about the topic. I wanted to also remind the Moors, um, well, in this past week, um, as you heard, Brother Turner Bay, Brother Kate Turner Bay's mother um, was, she passed away, or she transitioned, and her funeral um, slash memorial service was done yesterday. Um, so praise Allah for that and for the Moors that were able to support him and that sent positive thoughts um, we pray that Allah will provide you with the peace um, needed to get through each stage um, of what they call grief and going through and you can always reach mm -hmm. out uh, one of your sheikhs um, for assistance should you need it the same uh, like I said to Sister Cecil Veal with the passing of her mother and her transition, that should she need an, anything, um, she can go ahead and make sure to reach out to any of her sheiks um, or sheikhesses on the board, and they'll be more than um, able to assist her. Uh, coming up this week, just a reminder, is the Prophet, uh, Prophet Noble Drelli's birthday celebration. That's January 8th, 1586 birthday. We're celebrating on Monday, January 8th, 2024 at 2 p.m. We start at 2 p.m. and we will be at the Morris Science Temple of America uh, number 21 and they are at 349 Bainbridge, Bainbridge Street, Brooklyn, New York 
one, one, mm -hmm. two, three, three. Again, mm -hmm. the prophet's birthday will be held on January 8th. That's Monday, starting at 2 p.m. Please be on time. Um, I, I reached out to the Moors to get confirmation so that they can know how many to expect. And um, also wanted to let the Moors know that while I didn't say on the flyer, the, uh, there will be a donation uh, asked and it'll be, I believe it's $10 or a $10 donation um, that they would be asking for those of you who will be participating, especially in eating. Uh, if should, should you have any issues or concerns when it comes to that and you just, you know, hey, I don't really got that, just reach out to one of the sheiks so we can see what we can do to accommodate you um, or to assist. Um, I believe that your sheik training was mentioned last week. And um, an upcoming, the first sheik training that we will have for 2024 will be on January 16th. So every third Tuesday of each month. So I believe that's, no. that's no. January 16th would be our first one. Okay. And then um, just another reminder that uh, the prophet, the new year, the Moorish new year is coming up and that um, there will be a celebration for that. And the Moors can join and participate. I uh, believe that you were invited to go down to Temple 78 in Maryland to celebrate the Moorish New Year with them. And um, so we're going to uh, head down there. And anyone else who's interested in going, please let us know. Um, but we're going to check it out uh, coming up as well. Before I go, I just want to remind the Moors that we have our Thursday conference call. It's a weekly conference call. And it's facilitated by Brother W. Clendenning Bay um, with the assistance of Brother Al Serrano Bay and Sister Cecil Steele. Um, you can dial in, uh, call in, and that's a great, great opportunity to talk, ask questions, and go over any issues, even following along and learning. It's a great opportunity to know more. So I encourage you to join on this Thursday weekly conference call. Uh, we have our two pages. Uh, we have our public page and private page uh, for the Morris Science Temple. And we have our Facebook group uh, chat where we post information. So with that, uh, I would say uh, if you have any questions, issues, concerns, you're more than welcome to raise them. If there are any announcements or anything like that that you would like to have made during announcement time, please send an email to um, msta secretary 34 at gmail.com. That's msta secretary34 at gmail.com. And we will make sure to include those announcements. Uh, with that, I say peace. Indeed. That's all, brother. Yeah, as long, um, I just would like to send my gratitude to the Moors for the aid and assistance. Um, also, uh, Brother uh, uh, T. Berry Bay called me to give condolences, and he also said the same as in his long to the Moors. Got a hand from Brother J. Coleman. Islam, Brother J. Coleman. Brother Tim Bay. Islam, Islam, brother. Islam, also. I just want to say happy holy day. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead, Mo. Apologize. Islam all as well. I just want to say happy holy day to the Moors. First, I want to rise, give praise to Allah and honor to the Prophet. Uh, I want to give uh, my condolences to the brother Turner Bay, you know, on his moms and everything. Hope all is well, Mo. Keep your head up and everything like that and your chest out. You know, um, I want to give honors to all the Moors and the Moors Science Temple America. You know, thank you for all to the to the Grand Sheiks and everybody else for keeping the doors open for me and you and everybody else, you know, to make this mean and everything, you know. Uh, you are the children of one father, provided for by his care and the breast of one mother that given you suck. Let the bonds of affection therefore unite thee with our brothers, that peace and happiness may dwell in our father's house. And when we separate in the world, remember the relation that bonded you to love and unity and prefer not a stranger before our own blood. If thy brothers and the uh, 
adversity. A sister with our sisters in trouble, forsaken our associate of fortune, our father be contribute to the support of his whole race and his cares be continued to you all with your love to each other. And my condolence to Sister Silvio moms too and everybody's mom. Peace and love, Mo. Peace. Peace and love. Peace. Got another hand from Brother El Serrano. Peace and love, Brother El Serrano, babe. Islam. 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 First I rise and I give all praise to the great God Allah. I give honest to the holy and divine prophet, prophet Nubu Ali. I give honest to everything that pertains to Islam. You know, um, just with, with this kind of uh, spirit in the air as of lately, I've been doing a lot of contemplating you know, just on my own life and my own relationships and my own different things that I go through in life and, you know, losing family members and friends throughout the years. And, you know, I, I want to extend my condolences to our sister Grand Sheikah's uh, sister Cecil, uh, who had such a wonderful mom. Uh, she was always uh, very kind to me, um, just very loving and, and just always very embraceive, um, such a wonderful, uh, beautiful spirit. You know, I want to give my condolences to Brother K. Turner Bay, our assistant treasurer. You know, it's such a hard thing to deal with, you know, when we're going through these different things in life. <clears throat> and it's like, you know, when it comes to grieving, I, I think, you know, no one can can tell you how to grieve. No one can tell you what grieving is supposed to look like. You know, everybody has their own personal relationships with different people, their own unique experiences. And, you know, the best thing that we could do as more Americans is be there for our brothers and sisters, especially in times like this. Uh, um, you know, my heart goes out to all of you, Brother W. Clinton and Bay, uh, our dear sister, Sister Clendon and Bay. Um, you know, I think about Brother L. Evans Bay. I think about Brother Q. Evans Ill. I think about Brother G. Cradell Bay. I think about Sister Hamid Ill. You know, Brother S. Hamid Ill's wife. Mm -hmm. You know, we lost a lot of uh, very good brothers and sisters in uh, such a few uh, short span of time. And, uh, you know, may Allah be pleased with them and hold them close and guide them as they sail on smoother seas. And I want to wish you all a happy holy day, a happy prophet's birthday. Peace and love. First, I want to rise and uh, give praise to the great God, Allah, Father of the universe, Anaswa, Holy and Divine Prophet, the Noble Jew Ali. Um, Islam to the more for who spoke before me. I just want to um, reiterate, you know, you know, I'm many miles away, separated currently from all my brothers and sisters. I still want to, um, from the bottom of my heart, you know, relate to um, my sister C. Seals Ill. Our brother K. Turner Bay, you know, wish wish these moors the most strength, the most added blessings, the most added um, just positive outlook and upliftment, you know, as they're going through time that the moors are going through. You know, um, I recently lost a family member myself. I recently lost um, my father, so I definitely understand, like, you know, a lot that goes along with that. And a lot of times us as, as men, we tend to like withdraw when we're going through certain issues, or well, I know I do. So, you know, it's good to know that uh, we have, you know, we have brothers, we have sisters that are here to assist. And um, definitely, you know, if there's anything needed, I know I, I have to reach out because I know a lot of times we may need things and we can't really speak on it directly. So, it's on to the more that know also, you know, just having the science is also something that we have and hold dear to our heart. And I was recently at a funeral out in Atlanta where um, 
a young a young brother, you know, he lost his brother, and it happened to be in a, in a, in a church. So the pastor said, you know, your bro God wanted your brother to leave or to be wanted to take your brother in no uncertain terms or to, you know, the, the young man who had departed. And, you know, that young, the brother of the, the young man who passed, like he really got upset behind those words and he really went to the front and started to really act outside of itself inside of this church. And it's like, you know, I just think about these lessons in the way, as Brother K. Turner Bay said, a nice touch was put on the science of it. So it's like, you know, no, like like Brother said, no one can tell one how to grieve, but, you know, it's a condolence. I just want to wish the best of my morals. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace. Thank you, Brother Bay. Brother Kid Bay. Islam. 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 Um, excuse me. First, I rise, give praise to the great God, Allah, Father of the universe. I'm going to give honors to his holy prophet, Jura Ali. And I'm going to give honors to all the faithful Moors um, in the temple and on the Zoom. Islam. Um, first, and foremost, first and foremost, I, I'd like to give uh, condolences. Um, I actually previously spoke with uh, Sister Seals Ill, but again, I would like to give uh, the sister condolences on the passing of her mother. And uh, Brother K. Turner Bay, I know I don't know you very well, Mazda, and we ain't talked a lot, but condolences to you as well. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry for your loss. And um, any of the other Moors who have lost uh, family members or anything like that, uh, my condolences to you as well. Um, if you all need anything, want to talk, I am your brother and I'm here. Um, I just wanted to reach out and uh, put that love thought out. Uh, may Allah be with your families and uh, yourselves at this time. Peace. Praise the Lord. Thank you, brother. Keep the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, Sister Celia. Oh, praise the Lord and honest to my prophet. Um, I was just thinking, you know, I thought you are not going to do anything. Be quiet. You better stop. You better sit. You better be quiet. Now. No, uh, let's start. Listen to your mother. Thank you. Little speak. You speak it. I'm just going to say that um, at many points in time, right? So I'm very different. I mean, I, I was, it's so funny because you come with a certain setup. I'm thinking, okay, it's been a long week, it's been a lot going on. You know, my mom transitioned. I look at the numbers, right? And I look at the things that's happened. We just had a service, a funeral service, this last meeting for um, Brother Bratcher. Bratcher. And it was about 27 days in between his transition, right? And, and then being able to locate that see it. So it was 27 days, right? Um, looking at his birthday, his birthday is on the 27th, right? My mom transitioned on the 27th, right? Mm -hmm. But I was just looking at the concept of those numbers, and then two and seven is nine, right? Mm -hmm. But the difference between two and seven is five. Mm -hmm. Back to the principles, right? And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm passing myself through these different emotional challenges because mm -hmm. it's not just the recognizing of a transition, right? So I had to help them to load my mom mm -hmm. um, to get her out of the house. And it wasn't a matter of, like, I, I've dealt with transition people that I worked with in, in home care, or people I worked with in the life care. Mm -hmm. Like I could do hospice care, no problem. No problem. And, you know, like, so that part is not really what, what really gets to it. I think when you're, when you're like both times I spoke about having to step into a role of responsibility, right? And when you start to see, there's only a certain point where you get to see some of the weight of what your parents were carrying. Really. When it's time to handle their affairs, you step into a different line. It's like when you when when we reach the level of achievement in more science in America. I talked about the responsibility of the more science people of America rests on the shoulders of the sheep, so she mm -hmm. 
that band aid kind of get ripped off. And, you know, the concept of coming in, remember, just setting up the road now, it doesn't work that way. Yes, you could, you could choose to help, but now it's a requirement in many ways, right? And so now you're exposed to certain pieces of information and you're required to, to act different because it's going to evoke a different thought with what you're exposed to, right? So it's like going outside in the winter time, but you came from a climate that was summer. That experience is going to bring a certain form of protection, the thought of protecting yourself in your mind, right? Mm -hmm. So passing through these particular challenges, I'm looking at some of the things. Finance is a big deal. How do you handle your finance? What kind of things did you have to watch happening with the finances to know what was making life happen? And how in the world are you carrying all those things while we all calling you? While we all reaching out asking for assistance? Or while we, you know, we didn't all reach out and ask for the same level of assistance, but we're reaching out and communicating. How do you still have a certain soundness of mind when, when you have to balance and, and operate in life a certain way? And then you can recognize how many emotions get involved, right? Mm -hmm. So now, my emotion, I didn't want to have to do just the direct promotion. It's not what I want to do, but my mother wanted that. Mm -hmm. She made that clear across the board mm -hmm. for, but for a very long time. Mm -hmm. She's a witness. So there's a way in which she believes that the process should go, right? And so there was a part of me that, you know, figured out at that time, it's also her to actually have a service. So that we can all release some type of a communication about our interactions and, and feelings for her. Mm -hmm. that it's going to be handled a certain way. And within the Kingdom Hall, there are just brothers that do it. Mm. And I know my mother knew about my fez, my fez, my servant. I don't have a fez moss. <laughs> 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 But um, my turban, my mom knew about my turban. She knew about the more science of America. She said Islam to the Moors when they called, maybe on the yeah. phone. So she yeah. knew what was going on. She did. So, but going into this environment and focusing in my mind, I'm like, what am I going to, how am I going to answer that? Mm -hmm. Walking into an environment where we all have a, an appreciation for divinity, right? Mm -hmm. That's, I'm going to leave it at the unifying factor of an appreciation for divinity. An appreciation for holy, mm -hmm. something being holy. But the difference is this is my mother, right? And so I'm going to be relinquishing aspects of this process because of her choice. And I didn't think it would be so hard because when she's not physically here, but it's just the honoring of a request. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of feels, you know, that process of going through a lot of it alone. I'm not the oldest, but I'm in charge. I've been around her for the past two years, day in, day out, appointments. That's that. But inside the week, right? I'm still a mom. There's only but so much time in the day to process emotions, right? Getting up this even this morning, yesterday morning, having to run and go and do stuff for my father who doesn't necessarily know that I'm his daughter. He doesn't recognize me as his child. So it's a constant feeling of like I've lost kind of two parents in a sense. Mm -hmm. I had a different kind of preparation for my father. He's still physical, his flesh is still here. And he still has his consciousness within, the, you know, because when you deal with patients, this is just a little bit. He has his consciousness. It's just the degree in which it relates to me now. Right? There's so many trials, and I don't like to burden people. So I will not talk about it. I generally will not make a comment or a post in a time when I'm down, right? So early in the morning when Michaela's still asleep, right? My dad is, is in the room and he's still resting. And then there's those thoughts of the different challenges that I'm passing through. Like, who would I call? I would have called my mother. If there were certain things going on, it's a child, you know, time to make it to something where children can't go. I would have brought my daughter mm -hmm. to my mother. And so there's certain things that she just never really even factor in. Of course, it's, I'm not trying to pull her back. I understand that she saw some problems here as well as there. Mm -hmm. But what I do recognize is that the tests come, right? I found that Kayla has been more testy within this period of time than not. Mm -hmm. But we're all bound by courts to every other living thing. And so these particular challenges, like that shaking of the throne, what does it look like when the throne shakes is what I try to imagine 
-hmm. in that sense. When we look in the face and then we look at the image of Allah that speaks with that, right? I feel like I'm not going to see that portion of Allah that speaks with that anymore. You know how like there was a neighborhood that might have been respected just because of the older lady that sat there on that corner? Mm -hmm. So there just were certain things that wasn't happening at a certain hour in the day because they respected that older lady that sat there. That appreciation with my mom is how I see a very big change. And mm -hmm. the face is not there. Of course, I can imagine it. I can think about it tangibly, physical touching for my hands, for my body, right? That interaction, right? That comfort, that peace of mind. And so I'm not big on having, um, you know, breakdowns in public. I know they talk about everything, but yeah, the brothers, you know, we don't, we withdraw, we go back. I don't really talk about sex in the sense of feeling comfortable to do that. And I think I'm always so concerned about how others will receive it, right? And how would it disrupt the message that's meant to be received from Allah and how it might affect their emotions and their day and that consciousness that if they're not passing through a particular test right now, why am I going to give the burden of the weight to somebody who didn't apply for a doctorate? Why am I giving them a dissertation as an assignment? And so it makes it challenging at many points in time to express oneself. But I say praise Allah that there's always someone else going through what you're going through. So in that, you're never alone. I want to give honors to the Jordan family as well for reaching out. Yes. Honors to Brother Turner Bay and his family for also reaching out, offering support, communication, and the willingness to aid. Also, um, uh, Brother Kid Bay, he definitely did send a message out. He sent me a message through Messenger. And I kind of just wanted to send a direct message extending his, um, his thoughts and condolences. And the first thing I thought about was, your obligation day, I'm going to remember it because that's my father's birthday, mm. right? Mm. And so I'm sitting here, and my father and my mother are four days apart, mm. right? And Brother Turner Bay and his mother and my mother transitioned four days apart. And so I can't help but to see signs and synchronicity, right? And yeah. try to look into the positive things that maybe is bringing. You know, as Carl Young spoke about synchronicity and Mm -hmm. Keeping to that meaning that you're at least on along the right way on the path within mm -hmm. your time, wherever you're supposed to align. Now, he's not the prophet. Mm -hmm. He's not smarter than the prophet, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was just utilizing these different things to help me get through day to day. And so um, I just want to thank some ones for keeping things going, for knowing, for knowing that we're going to have these doors open, for looking up and seeing, you know. I looked at that one of Brother Smithfield's TikToks as he was walking around, walking down again. And, I, it, you know, there's certain things that you all do that bring such an uplifting mm -hmm. um, energy and spirit. And so just honest to you all for what you're doing, honest to you all for your thought. And um, may all of our relatives who transition to their last thing to see. Thank you so much. Remember, we are here for you. Need us, need us. Good. Mm -hmm. If all, give your attention to our secretary, uh, assistant secretary, as Brother well Ice with you, as you read today's financial report. Islam? Islam. More signs, Temple of America, Temple number 34. Finance received for January the 5th, 2024. Public collection, we received $11. Literature and supplies. So, literature and supplies received ten dollars. Uplifting fund received eight dollars. Chaba fund received seven dollars. Local building fund seven dollars. Coming out to a grand total of forty three dollars. And the total attendance in person on Zoom of seventeen. No. Peace. Yes, yes, wow. You heard the reading of the financial report. What's the one of the pleasure the more? That's so, fine, brother chairman. Yes, Brother Grant. I move that the minutes be approved with the necessary, I mean, excuse me, the finance report be accepted with necessary corrections if there be any. Please, uh, yes, I move that the finance report be accepted with the necessary corrections if there be any. Thank you. I know, the, I know Brother Grant Sheep was second in the motion because, you know, I know we could hear the chairman call on the assistant Grant Sheep to say it's wrong. Yeah. But praise be to Allah. Uh, I second, I second the motion. Yeah, we're new by the CCC. Okay, second by the other guy. Keep 
Those living in there made that the financial report be accepted with necessary correction if they be in. If you have the motion, they're ready for the question. Question. All in favor of this motion, should write a motion to a vote. Secretary, note that the motion has been carried. Why? Carried. I'd like to thank everyone for the Constitution. Physically, spiritually, and financially, a prayer law continues to guide us. A prayer law continues to protect us. A prayer law continues to shield against all negative force seen and unseen. And don't forget you are prayer as you go on the edges and the highways, as you go through whatever you're going through. Call on them forces. Call on them spirits. The air, the earth, the fire, the water, the deep is, you know, direct the force. And remember, you direct the force. But please, well, I'd like to thank everyone for the contribution. All right, say three, three, seven, nine, eight, three, five, three, seven, the left, two, and the right. You keep the motion right in the church. Allah, 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 Father, the universe. The Father at love, true. true. Peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, my salvation. By night and by day, to the holy prophet, to Ali. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> we are, but your mother needs some time. You gotta be patient, okay? Yeah, come on. Come on, come on, help mama. Peace and love, Morris. Peace and love. Peace and love, Morris. Peace and love. Happy. Oh, get on safe. Peace and love, bonus pop. Text somebody when you get in.